let's learn how to make a very simple and very cool augmented reality experience with an app called Doodle Lens and PowerPoint. Doodle Lens is one of my favorite AR apps because it lets you easily copy and paste doodles or really any image, either from paper or a digital screen into the real world. And the magic is that the doodles stay there even if you move your screen around, making them look like they're truly there with you. All it takes is a simple copy and paste with your camera. You can also use pictures of real life objects like these Legos to create really cool animations and even clone your pets. The possibilities are endless. It's really easy to get started. The first step is to just get the app. It's only $2 from the App Store and works on most Apple devices and Android devices compatible with AR Core. And this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I'm just truly excited about it, as are many others, as you can see by the reviews. Once you have it installed, the next step is to make your doodle or image. You can make it on physical paper or on a digital screen. Since I personally don't have great drawing abilities, I prefer using digital graphics made by others. I got all of mine from freepick.com, which is what I use for many of my videos. Once you have the image you want to use, make sure each part is separated on a different sheet of paper, or in my case, PowerPoint slide, since if you follow my channel, you know I do most of my graphic editing in PowerPoint. For this first graphic of the hot air balloon, I isolated the balloon, two types of clouds, and the bird on different slides. I did this by basically duplicating the slide with the original image a few times, cropping out different parts of the image so just the part that I wanted remained on the slide. And of course, this step can be done in Photoshop or other programs as well if you prefer. So that's how you get your basic static image. But of course, in Doodle Lens, what's cool is you can animate your doodles as well. And for that, simply separate each animation frame on a separate sheet or slide. And then when we put them together in the app, they'll all look animated. So once you have your doodles and any animation frames put together, we're now ready for step three, which is putting these into the real world. For this, we just open up our app. For a basic static image, just point your phone at it and hit copy, and then point where you want it to go and hit paste. Simple as that. And if you move the phone around, the image will stay there in place. Very simple and love how it uses the familiar concept of copy and paste. Next, if you want to make an animated doodle, you can press and hold the copy button and then keep adding frames. And the light blue guide here helps you see where your last frame ended so you can be more precise with all of your frames. And by the way, if you wanna copy color like you see here, you need to change the copy settings to the color option here. There's a lot of other options in here too, but I won't go into them in much detail. Since Doodle Lens itself has some great tutorials built in and Aiden Wolf, the developer, is always adding new features. For example, an option for 3D doodles is in the works and may be already built in by the time you watch this. Can't wait to see how the app evolves. Augmented reality will be a key part of how we interact and tell stories in the future. And in my opinion, this is the easiest and most fun AR app to use, especially if you're just starting out with the technology. Also feel free to pass along feedback or questions to Aiden, the developer and his team, as he is very responsive and engaged with the community. Well, thank you once again for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you for my next one.